Hello and welcome once again to the Forward Compatible Podcast. This is episode 96, part one, for December 8th, 2013. What's the date again? December 8th. I had a look. Okay. I had to do a little peekaroo. I forget these things. Brian just told me to. Uh, we should have a, a giant poster back there. Like a cue card? Cue card. No. Just, just with the date we, on we, it, though. It never changes. I mean, technically. <laughs> This is the Tony Q card. Tony, oh, dumbass. Oh, no. This is the date. <laughs> the iPad, there's an app that you can get that actually has a... Projector? No, no, not the projector. But what is, the fuck is it called when you read the... Teleprompter. Mm. Teleprompter. Yes. So yes. Brian could be sitting here with his wireless keyboard typing what you're reading for you. I'll turn into Ron Burgundy and I'll start reading it like <laughs> Go verbatim. fuck yourself, San Diego. <laughs> and it'll just be like... <laughs> I was going to say, like, Brian will start messing with me, like, this is Tony, and I'm a jackass, and this is December 8th, and I don't know. (laughs) It's really the 15th, Tony. No, (laughs) it's not. (laughs) This is December 8th. I'm Tony. You're a jackass. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, I'm Tony. I'm joined, as always, by my fellow podcasters, Jason, Mark, and Brian, and I thought we fired them. Fired who? Yeah, they, 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 they have a lot of truancy. They're, they're like, they're like Doctor Who. You just can't get rid of them. No matter how bad they suck, they just keep coming back. You're squeaking. This guy. Are there any this Doctor who, who fans that watch us? Because I'm. They're called Whovians. There's Same. really a name for them? Yes. I'm indifferent because yeah, yeah. uh, I tried watching one episode and I didn't like it. Which one did you watch? Was the it like... first episode? Oh, it's terrible. No. Let me tell you yeah. the first. The, the plastic one? The yeah. first and only episode I watched had <laughs> fucking Giles in it from Buffy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he was like the, the teacher. Yeah, yeah he was yeah, like yeah. the principal. I'm like, yeah. this is fucking horrible. <laughs> Because you get you two love it, right? It's all right. It's it's campy, so I it's <laughs> it looks fun. like the dude. <laughs> what? Which one? <laughs> the one that everybody fucking gets their Smith? jeans all fucking David hard Tennant? for. David Tennant. There you go. Oh, if he got Tennant. rid of this, yeah. All right, be nice to David Tennant. Uh, he did one season, and he had those no. badass. No, David Tennant did three seasons. Welcome Chris to the Doctor Who podcast. Season. Oh, that's what I'm thinking about. Yeah. Welcome to the Who cast with No yeah. Fun Berg and <laughs> David Tennant. <laughs> We'll market it like that. We'll get a ton of views. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I suppose we kick off the weekly or the, the weekly roundtable and catch everybody up what we've been playing since the last time we all spoke. I've been playing Tony Sucks. What he says. What he says. <laughs> Brian screwed up my teleprompter. What can I say? I told oh, you this yeah. was going to happen. Yeah, there's yeah. a misspelling yeah. right there. We're already <laughs> off to a shit start. Yeah, this is horrible. <laughs> See, they know you're lying because they say there's a misspelling. What? I don't know. So what I play this week... <laughs> yeah, just get back, <laughs> back on the rails. With the uh, Steam Fall Sale, I picked up Papers, Please... Um, I was actually an alpha tester for that game way back, so I finally decided to give him my money. I've heard good things. Uh, it was good back then, and it's, I don't know what the hell he changed since like the year and a half ago since I played it. Mm-hmm. I don't think really much changed, but um, it's still good. It's still good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, I picked up Stanley Parable, only did the demo of that, and I picked up the game because I love the demo so much because it just messes with you the whole time. So uh, I'm looking to actually fully start that. I'm hoping tomorrow or the day after it would be awesome. And then on my PS4, I did, let's see, I downloaded a bunch of stuff, like the new demos that came out that I haven't even got to play yet, but otherwise I mostly did Assassin's Creed this week. I love Assassin's Creed, by the way. God damn it, Brian, stop beeping. I hated three. I hated the living crap out of Revelations. I love being a pirate. Butt pirate? Just because I dress slutty doesn't mean I'm a butt pirate. You don't have socks on. I do. He does. They're those low ankle socks. They're, 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 they're riding low and dirty today. I don't know why you'd wear those in the middle of Chicago winter, but... <laughs> Fuck it. It's cold. Yeah, for whoever was asking us if it snowed, uh, it's snowing right meow. I can't see out the window. I remember this happening, was it like two weeks ago? Or last week mm-hmm. or something? It snows. Right now. It's happening. All right, that's that's those are... are, are, are right outside is a winter Fans winter. in Canada. Yeah, who's laughing at us? They, they get the snow first. Then we get, There's a we get your sloppy stuff. seconds. Mm-hmm. Fucking Canucks. And I love your maple leaves. I have enjoyed poutine on occasion. Who doesn't like the poutine? 
Oh, wait. No, no, no. It's a, it's a Canadian... Well, I, I don't know if you put that in quotes, delicacy. It's French uh, French fries with gravy and uh, cheese curds. Oh, sounds delicious. Not what I was talking about. No. <laughs> I'll have ten. And a cardiac arrest on the side. Yeah. Br- Brian, what did you play this week? <laughs> I played one Off thing... Off the fucking rails. I played one thing this week, and that is The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. I'm like 70% done with it. Uh, okay, it I, very much. I gotta play some catch up this week because I want to do a spoiler cast when uh, Moss gets back in town. When's that, is that next week or? Uh, in a week or two. You guys okay. aren't doing any Zelda spoiler cast until I play the game. Get a 3DS! Is this gonna turn into The Last of Us where you make us wait three you months think it and, is? and then you don't. It's fucking, fucking Zelda, do you think it is? I don't know. You saw, you made us wait for wait, that wait, and then we never got around to it. Because I never use the 3DS. That's right? the plan. But we'll see, right, Kim? Mm-hmm. Bum, bum, bum. I wish I had like a control zoom? to just zoom in on my face. <laughs> do that. Do we have that with the new? Um, do we? Yeah. We have a, we have a, there's a zoom. Yeah, but you're no, not gonna be able to control good. from back here, yeah. are you? We need an actual cameraman. To yeah. Do that kind of shit. No, no. Now hiring uh-huh. unpaid internship. Cameraman. They have they have tripods. Well, with or you could, you could record it 1080p, but further out, mm-hmm. yeah. and then zoom in. Yeah. yeah. Dum bum bum. But, but I'll put it 720 or something like that. Like, just square it up. Yeah, whatever. Like, the, like that new Nokia phone Crap. does. Crap. So, Legend of Zelda. It's fun. I like it's it good. very much. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. I love playing a Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys can look forward to when Moss is on the next show. He's just going to turn his fucking Mark Nelson over and just slap it. <laughs> It's That's like, gonna be my only comment. It's like it's like that you were in the South Park movie where Terrence and Philip are sitting there on Conan, and Conan's like, or no, not yeah, he says a bad joke. Brook Shields like, I fired once on the set of Blue Lagoon. It's like a three second pause. It's just <laughs> whack. <laughs> this is my ongoing joke. That's gonna for the be last a two. Month. I bet Moss just sits there for the first ten minutes, just staring evilly at him, and he just slaps you. It's like you're Link. You play as Link. You're a boy. <laughs> I don't want to be a boy in that game. But his name was Zelda, like a boy named Sue. You know, <laughs> the guy with the worst name. I didn't know. Wow, now we're getting obscure. We're throwing fucking cash songs yeah, out there. Know. Wow, it's we really completely cool. lost our demo. It's the prime example of that sort of a thing, isn't it? Do you think it's something older no, than that? No. Um, I, I prime. beat Rise. What do you think? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It's a pretty good game. Yeah. I like... Even though there's no real boss battles in the game, I mean, technically there, there are. But there's no real final boss battle, but the way that that played out was awesome. I loved the last 10 minutes of that game more than I loved the first 90 fucking percent of the game. That, that last It's a cool story. Awesome. Yeah. Um, and then I traded it in today. Because <laughs> I'm done with it. Um, I'm currently kicking Tony's ass in Forza. That won't last for long, but you better believe I'm going to brag about it while... Well, well I'm doing it, you know. I'm and almost, then for like, like level twenty, the next two years, just it's fine. <laughs> we'll have a you and Forza. That's fine. Nine nine nine, bitch. That's fine. And I'm like level like, twenty and Dead Rising, so I've got a little bit of that in, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, stuff and things. Herschel gets decapitated. Um. Well, so what'd you play? Um. I I, like spoilers or something in there. By the way, did you like the stuff and you things did. reference in my screenplay? Yes. Okay. Yes, I love sex. I uh, I didn't play much this week. I uh, I played some. Tony got butt hurt when we tried to get into a party together. <laughs> yeah, I got a little so, upset. So he ran away. I uh, I watched okay, I watched I just watched a lot of TV this week. I played uh, oh, some TV some I played some Blackgate, and I played a little bit more Zelda. But that that was really it. I I really this week's my first full week off because last week I had a week off, but I had to do everything I've been putting off for the last three months because I've worked so much. So I knocked everything out. Uh, and uh, oh, this boy, will be, did knock one out. This will be my first week where I can actually uh, sit down and play <coughs> a ton of games. So I plan on beating two or three things. <laughs> I plan on knocking out Batman. plan on knocking out Zelda. plan on knocking out Mario. I just love how he's able to stay so straight-faced <laughs> when I'm clearly referencing that. No, oh, I get it. I get it. It's my Johnson, my Willie, my Tallywhacker. You're Harry Johnson. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> who, who else played stuff? Is that That's it? it? We're done. News! News! <clears throat> so, um, due to uh, circumstances Doo-doo. beyond my control, <laughs> there's not much I can report on this week. You'll have to turn in episode two for 
most of the stuff, so... Uh, what is it? I don't even know. You'll find out later. I guess so. Along with all of everybody else. It's slow news time TV anyway. Land. I mean, all they're going to do is like... Did just, you not see part two last week? Jesus Christ. That was hard for us to get through. And we people, were here. people loved it. <laughs> Did you see it? But like, look, it was like one of our high, most highest commented videos we've ever made. Look. We had the most <laughs> thumbs up we've ever gotten, and I thought it was our worst episode if ever. You look at because I let YouTube pick the still frame all the time. Yeah, it's just me in the chair. Yeah, I saw, I saw the still frame. And Tony's like, <laughs> at the end, we were like, Jesus Christ, <laughs> it was it was rough. But yeah, I, I think go back. I only watched the first it. half hour of the first one. You saw the first... Oh. No. I didn't see Watch the first half hour of the second one. That one's good. The last 45 minutes gets a little slow. You guys went for a while. I was surprised at the time. Yeah. Uh, hour and 30 minutes part one. Hour and 20 minutes part two. There's a lot of stories last week. I think that's why people dug it. But see, you know what else happens when you two fucks aren't here? We don't argue <laughs> at all. But we're, it's... We're but like it's best so friends. Fun. We're like best friends. <laughs> like, yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Tony, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tony, what'd you play? Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so while I'm here, me and Tony agree, and then you, everyone else argues with no, you no, or so Brian. You're the one that instigates it. <laughs> I was yeah. talking over people and stuff. Trying to play a Zelda. Yeah, I know. <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> fuck it, fuck it, you know what would be awesome? If like we did have a fucking Let's Play video of Mark playing it, and he names Link Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. But you can't do it, because in some games, that, that starts the second quest. Mm -hmm. What? Really? Yeah. Yeah, people, I know in the first one, I think other games there's something there too, but I could be wrong. But like if you name your Link Zelda in the first game, Mars. you start on the second quest. Fill everybody in. You've been chiming in. Yeah. You got nothing right to do down there. Hicksville. <laughs> right down there in the comments. <laughs> Thumbs it up while you're at it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um No! I, I, I told everybody I'm drinking alcohol. <laughs> PlayStation Network got hacked again. Kind of, kind well, of, no, sort of. I don't think it was PC. There, was, there were a bunch of places that got hacked. Yeah, there was a bunch. But it was like, of places it was like a thing where cyber yeah, hacked yeah, everything week. Mm -hmm. And for me, it was sucked balls because, like, okay. And funny enough, one oh, of the games. Oh shit! I, I have one more game that I did play. Too late. We're past Too late. that. No, Sorry. it was no, a good. Right. I actually want to talk right. about because it's a new game. No, Rocksmith 2014. You got it. Yeah. There's another fucking game you were supposed to let me borrow. Was Rocksmith? Yeah, but well, I, see, I, took, just, I didn't instigate no, that, did that's, I? Did that's I? not the game. You need me to borrow you the game, the cable, the guitar, guitar, everything, and I, I have a guitar. I, I, oh, I allowed him to because yeah. I actually play that on occasion. So I mean, um, anyway, excellent. It's a lot better than the first one. Real man, you just unplug the mic and walk away. <laughs> no, fuck that. This segment is done. <laughs> okay, because no, what triggered my thought on that was the PlayStation hack. Because I had to turn on my PS3 to play Rocksmith. I thought about getting Rocksmith. I've always wanted. You can learn to play with Rocksmith. Right? Yeah, because yeah. I have a guitar. I don't know how to play. I'm it's fucking kind of learning. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've got a guitar that I've always meant to learn how to play. Get Rocksmith. And there's some terrible like Smashing Pumpkins songs in Rocksmith, which mm -hmm. I enjoy. Although I, I, uh, really start I with picked those. it up for like thirty bucks. It came out like a week ago. Does it have? Does that? Is that with the adapter? You have to buy the adapter. Or something? No, I have it the adapter left. The adapter, left adapter, left adapter, left adapter, left adapter I believe, though. You can buy them online for ten bucks. It's a fucking. It's a audio jack to MIDI. Or okay. Something. It's MIDI. I, I don't well, because I have, I have my guitar has USB on it, but I don't know if it'll go directly. I don't know. You might no, need it won't work. You yeah, need yeah. their cord. Okay. Um. Anyway, so I had to turn on my PS3 to uh, update for a thing, and it signed me out. It's like, oh, sign in with your password. I'm like, ah, oh, that hack. That's mm -hmm. right. So I switched my password. Nothing happened. I checked my balance. Uh, Funny enough, one of the that, things that people were reporting was FIFA again. No, mm -hmm. that's what broke it again. Yeah. 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 Fuck um, you, FIFA. Yeah. Uh, Everybody then, else in the world has to love the football with the feet. The sports balls. <laughs> um, then I went to go play Blackgate, like I said. So I pop in my Vita. Boom, I'm signed out. So I have to re-sign in again on that. I'm like, I thought I did this. Then I popped in the PS4 to... I don't even remember what the fuck I was doing on it. Bam, had to change my password again. It's like, are you kidding? They mean you change it every single time? So you every device. Every three times? Well, because all of mine are in auto setting or auto sign oh, in. You just had to log back in. You yeah, well, I had to switch my password because it was reading my old one. Mm -hmm. uh, I get it, I get it, I get it. So, yeah. Good times, good times. I, nothing was missing. I no, went straight to my it. account because I don't have my uh, credit cards linked to any of these because my no. Xbox got hacked. And my personal PlayStation account never got hacked, but this is the tw the second time they, that like, PS password. Got, so, I don't have credit card info. I don't have anything. I just buy those little $20 mm -hmm. cards. 
But, you know, I wanted to make sure that that didn't all get wiped out because it's like I had 40, 50 bucks sitting around in my digital wallet. Yeah. But it was all there. Nothing happened. I uh, I did have my credit card on PSN, and I took that back down. And then on Xbox, I actually have my PayPal. Which, interestingly enough, since I mentioned that, is uh, nobody won our, our one year of Xbox Live. So I said, fuck you guys. And it's mine. It's so my I man. I rede- hey, I was fair. I redeemed it. And then I was on uh, a, a three-month billing plan with Microsoft because I was waiting for a sale to come through. Mm-hmm. So the Microsoft... It's coming next week. Microsoft billed me for bucks off. three months mm-hmm. of Xbox Live mm-hmm. after I had activated the one-year card. Mm-hmm. So I called them up, explained the situation to them, refunded me my money. Give me my money. Yeah. You have good luck with customer service. I do. Maybe it's because I was so awesome at it that I know how to talk to these people because most people, like, a hey, dick point, bag. When I walked into a certain, me. a certain retailer today and some woman was sitting there with a pre owned system trying to return it when it was clearly open and past the seven days and throwing a fit, and I assisted a certain someone, kind of giving them a little bit of direction on the best way to handle the situation. Everything left, customer left happy, done deal. They return it? Yeah. It's not like where I used to get into fights with customers. And- <laughs> no! No soup for you! <laughs> I don't ever get fights with anybody. I, I, like, okay. There are two big stories of me getting into fights with customers at two different stores, but that's for another time. That's for a blacklist. Yeah. I think we did one of those, our worst retail experiences. Yeah. Was it, well, was we're, it, I, think it was, I want to do another one of those, because that was a big hit last time. There, the there was one where I chased someone out of the store with the hook that you used to pull down the gate. Nice. Because he was incredibly rude and refused to leave. I've got some good ones from my current job, so. Yeah. I just don't care. I'm like, okay, if you're going to throw a hissy fit here, I'll do it. And then I just make them sign the little book mm-hmm. with their phone number. And if there's any problems, because it's come up a couple times, and I direct my district manager. I'm like, look, there was a problem. I was, the customer left. Really? Me. He called him. It's that easy. What? He didn't mute your phone. I don't give a fuck. I never mute my phone. More news! This one was actually a little bit disappointing to me. Gaikai is actually now going to be launching late 2014 mm. and early 2015 in Europe. It sucks. I wanted it like early next year. I know that they had said just 2014. They hadn't given a date. Yeah, no, they're giving a It's not rainish. Like, this is how you're supposed to do stuff. You don't go, this is my date. Now I'm going to delay it three times. Yeah. No, that's You true. leave a vague ass 2014. I, I, I just wish that they would say for sure what Gaikai is going to offer in some way. Don't I don't even think I don't even think they know. Don't forget to turn your ringer back up later. I think they don't even know if it's going to be a membership or a game per game basis. Mm-hmm. Because the thing is there are, okay then this this is a long discussion that we don't have to have right now but there are certain games I don't want every single game you know people talk about oh backward compatible when you go back and play those games most games no I won't but there are a few games that I absolutely would. I held on to my Xbox 360 for the longest time just so I could go back and play Jet Set Radio Future every once in a while. It's a great game. It's a lot of fun. You can pick mm. it up and play around in like 5-10 minutes and just get some fun out of it and be done. Well, I, I also wouldn't uh, look over the the HD collections that are probably mm-hmm. coming. Like, I wouldn't doubt that on the, Xbox, on the Xbox One we're going to see like a Gears of War trilogy mm-hmm. up res to... The Xbox One, and yeah. they'll probably do with Uncharted, and the big titles, like God of War. I don't think they're going to go back and do some like obscure crap, but if you look back at the stuff they've been bring, bringing up from the Xbox original and the uh, PS2 to the last gen, mm-hmm. wow, it's getting tricky now. Yeah, it is. Because now next gen is current gen. Yeah. Whew. The times, they are changing. How many old song references can I just throw into this podcast? Keep going. There you go. You can have a little counter going in the corner. Yeah, yeah I'm not doing that. Sorry. <laughs> I don't give no fucks. Not More news! More news! Week. I'm not even wearing a hat. This is my hoax of the week week. Because there was a crap ton of things that oh, weren't true. I love or... this, this one that you're about, I think that you're the, about to say. The, there's a few uh, good ones. There's the, I got fucks rolled a tear. I've got three of them. So the first one. There was a... Uh, it came up, I think it started on Reddit, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you can make your Xbox One backwards compatible. Uh-huh. Open up your dev console, change some files, and then you restart your system, 
And it's more than likely bricked, and you are screwed out of a system. Now, I, 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 I do have a question, though. Is that really true? Does it really brick the system? Or does Microsoft not want you to play your Xbox 360 no. games on your Xbox? <laughs> no. It's the workaround. Just break their system. Conspiracy theories. It, yeah. I mean, you never know. I mean, we're talking about Microsoft here. You never know. You never no. know. No, you know. If you go to the dev console, no. Because devs have no reason to mess with, me- with backer compatibility. Yeah. Or do they? Who? No, they, they don't. They don't, Jason. They don't. don't know. They just don't, Jason. Just let it go. It's over. By the way, um, Nick Kuhn says, uh, Tony, you slouch. It's all right. That's what I do. So just figured I'd let you know. Pass that. Good to know. Moving on to the next hoax of the week. Fallout 4 website was not owned by Bethesda. Yes! The game's still coming out. No, it's not. Tears. That is the hoax Wait, of the week. on this side because they can't see this side. Yeah. It's still coming. Worry not. It takes place in Boston. Everything's been leaked. Yeah, I know. It's been, been all but confirmed. It. Yeah, it's been all but confirmed. But that website, fan site. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know why in. you would do that because you know you're going to lose the rights to it in like 10 yep. minutes. Yep. It's yep. a waste of your time and money. Unless they end up doing something with it, but then they're... Because you tricked the whole interwebs. I guess, but then they like don't care about you afterwards. It didn't even last for, what, three Even-ed days? Four days? Fans. It already came back out saying it's not right? All you butthurt Fallout fans? Yeah. Keep drinking. I'm smiling. My last hoax of the week, which is my f- personal favorite... A guy in the UK decided to buy a Xbox One <laughs> off of eBay for $750, even though clearly in the eBay, I actually went to it just to check it out, it was just a photo of an Xbox One that it he bought for $750. It's a photo. It's a photo. Bought it. And eBay's being nice enough to refund all of it. Yeah. Just like back in the day when people would say X- sell Xbox, Xbox. boxes. Yeah. Yep. And they just saw a box and they get like, yeah. And uh, he, he, I, I'm assuming you've seen the, the photo kind of went viral. It just, it's just him with this grin of, like, I got tricked, and then the, the actual photo. Crappy photocopper, photocopy. Uh, I I don't know if he does did Does the it. seller get, I mean, does he keep the money? No. That's, I'm, well, now, eBay said they're refunding the money. So did this guy already get the money and take it out of the fucking account? Uh, eBay can still make you pay it back. Yeah, and it, that's more there, like what happened. There's stuff in the contract that says, like, within a certain period of time, you have to okay. be able to get the money back if it's not as described. Now, it is as described, or it, it was as described, but it was misleading, so they may still... Mm-hmm. That's it what it says in the, the wrong, it was misleading. It was in the wrong category. Well, there they you listed, go. Yeah, they so that's misleading. the gaming category yeah. when it was a photo. Yeah, no, see, that's misleading. Yeah. He would have kept it if I was on a photo. Freaking eBay. That's great. You know what happened? And then, wait, 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 there's more to this story. The guy said that he was buying it for his four-year-old son. Okay? Mm-hmm. Who the fuck buys a an four-year-old Xbox, Xbox One? And pays an extra $250 over retail for it. This guy's full of shit. It's for him. <laughs> I sold my... I finally sold my joystick on eBay. The one the that I put on? The arcade stick. And well, the guy... The nobody won that you tried to give away? Yeah. But these fucks don't answer the questions? Uh, well, I made it purposely hard... He's being so mean to you. Uh, so answer the question. So be happy. And uh, I'm trying to give away some free shit. Two minutes after the guy got on an auction, he's like, will this work as a flight stick for a flight simulator? Are there even flight simulators on the 360? Uh, yes. Ace, Ace Combat, Combat IL-2. Okay, you're right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. IL-2 There's a Storm few, Warfare. Not a lot, though. But, and I'm like, no, it would not work. And I was like, fuck, it's pretty fun. The money. I'm not going to sit here and fight with this guy over it. So you still have it? I still have it. I'm going to put it back up on eBay in a few days, probably. What well, would you ask for it? It was, uh, well, at first it was 35 starting bid and a 65 buy it now. Because mm-hmm. I've seen it go, like, the, they, it's like they sell for, like, a huge range. Like, you can look, it'll sell for, like, 20, 30 bucks, and I'll mm-hmm. see them go for, like, 70 bucks. All within, like, the span of, like, a couple of weeks. Yeah. But half of them will also not sell. I have no idea how, mm. it's just weird. I don't know. Same Gotta wait for the right person to come around. Yeah, especially to wait for the right, for the right person. Hmm. Weird. So I'm, I had put it on for 25 with the buy it now at 40. I need the buy it now at 40. But uh, I'm going to put it back up the same 25 to buy. To you hear that, bid. you dumbass? Anyway, arcade sticks are not for fucking flight games. Yeah. 
think the only one that actually really came out for. Uh... And he did the buy it now. He didn't like message me and say, "Hey, let's work for a for a flight simulator." Because I would have said no. He did it after work. I'm like, you know, I'm not gonna because it, it's just a hassle. You know. Yeah. I just fine. I don't care. I don't want to. I don't have to pack it now. So now he's gonna send Prime a fucking letter in a week. Where's my arcade stick? No, no, no. I canceled the off. I because he did the buy it now. I had to cancel the whole transaction. Mm. So that's that's done. Long gone. Well, if he's dumb enough to buy an arcade stick for a fucking flight sim, he might still message you. Pretty sure Logitech's the only way to making one. I might be wrong about that. There might be one or two other what, ones. What, flight stick? Yeah. They bundled one in with Ace Combat. Yeah, there was yeah. that one. It was which... like 150 bucks. Yeah. It was ugly, too. Oh, and then that's right, because there was one for... Uh, there was another flight game that came out in the last year, I think, that like the uh, came with another stick. Why don't you just use your Kinect, guys? Have it sense your hand motions. That's what, what's it called, dude? That steel battalion. You know why? Because it doesn't work in the dark. It's true. It's true. All right. Hoaxes are up. What's left? The only thing left is to say, Danny Letterman! Wow. You just helicoptered the shit out of that. Yeah. Um, that's all I got because uh, part two, we're going to cover the rest of this week's news. It's true. It's true. There wasn't really anything. You've been handcuffed lately. Oh. You know, last week was a good news week, but somebody wasn't here. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Well, you know, you guys wanted to start early. I was, I was fine to come. No, you're fucking full of shit. My, my I don't feel good. My I told you that the day before, and I said, no, I'm good enough to come, but you guys no. wanted to start at like four. No. Confident all this That's kids. not true. We have the chat log. Don't you try to make us the bad guys. I'm Dick. just fine. I'm fine with it. <laughs> Are you going to post a chat log? I'm going to post the fucking chat log. <laughs> That's how it's played. Well, then. Uh, I guess. Hmm? It's time for That's my one. All right. Oh, God. Is it time for, uh... <laughs> If you would have spit water across this room, I would have punched you in the fucking... It's a good thing I wasn't playing a dude. I was going to punch you in your Adam's apple. Jibbel. I was waiting because Brian switches up every week. I love it. <laughs> it's like Christmas morning with Brian every week. It's like, what's he going to do? Is it Gollum? Is it fucking... Uh... Speaking of Christmas, Gabe Bustos asked, what do you want for Christmas this year? Are you buying us stuff? <laughs> Don't get his hopes up. What do I want for Christmas this year? I'm assuming we're keeping this video game related. You might make cards. Yeah, what you want for Christmas? Cash. I accept cash payments. I would like a contract for my writing work, please. I'd like a lift kit for my Jeep. If we're keeping it video game related, I would like the PlayStation 4 camera. It's about the only thing I don't own. <laughs> and you guys can send your gifts to... Uh... Does he give his address? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They didn't but send then, anything, then, guys. I don't really want to give my address out on the air. No, no. What you do is you say... Well, no, gifts. Like with hate mail, you say, send your hate mail to the boss, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Yeah. Hmm. But it's separate. <laughs> he just keeps opening them. Why are they so pissed at them? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what about you? Oh, for gaming related, he wants um, more flannels. I would. Yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> I could get a few of those. They're great for winter. Uh, like fall wear. jeans. I, I have enough jeans. I'm good in that. But need uh, some more mousse for his hair. Some fl- I don't. I. When have I ever gelled my hair? I didn't say gel. I said mousse. That's how you get that little quaff going. No, that's natural. That's it's all your hair is the opposite of mine. No matter. If I can put like a pound of product in my hair. It's like right back out. Wait a minute. When has Damn. Mark ever put any product in his hair? Do you have a picture? I do. Uh-oh. Oh, is it from 4th of July? <laughs> I don't know when it's from. But it's I- is, it, is it everywhere? <laughs> it's 4th of July, then that would be it. Uh, that's because uh, we do our hair up silly for 4th of July parade. I know what you're talking about. So it's been since 4th of July. Uh, gaming related, though. Um, I can return my Vita if you want to buy my Vita for me. Oh, yeah. I didn't say it. I'm buying a Vita. I will be the 10th person in the known universe to own one. I honestly, I feel so bad. The only thing I use my Vita for still is Persona 4 and <laughs> Wake Up Club. <laughs> you use Wake Up Club? I use it every day. How do you like that? Is that uh, does it just wake you up? It, 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 it's funny because I have 
I have four alarm clock. Well, one, two, three. Yeah, four alarm clocks. I have three, right so. I have the the wristband wakes me up. Oh, you yeah, have uh, the Fitbit. Yeah. Fitbit? No, this is the, the up. I want the oh, Fitbit. Oh, that's at the jawbone, yeah. The, fit, the force is cool because it has the altimeter. I go upstairs a lot for the schools. I've been inter- I've been sort of interested in either the so jawbone much. or the Fitbit for a while. Um, I like, well, the Fitbit seems to have better quality control. Mm-hmm. This is like my fourth one. Yeah, that's what I've heard about jawbones. Um, but it does work. This one's been working pretty well. Welcome to get the anyway, fun out. <laughs> get the fun out. Get the fun out. I love tech stuff. <laughs> That's why you guys um, need to do a tech podcast. I use my phone. I have a Coming Sony Dash. Coming this January. Um, That's and a I cool also fucking have a tablet clock thing you yeah. have, right? Yeah. That only uses an alarm clock. Nothing. Because it doesn't play. You can put MP3s on it and play MP3s off a USB stick or a memory, yeah. memory thing. But you can't use that for the alarm. You have to That's use stupid. Streaming audio service for the alarm or an alarm noise. I was like, I'm kidding. What happens if you lose internet overnight? <laughs> exactly. So that thing is. Uh, and then the Wake Up Club. Wake Up Club is fun. Um, it has achievements, but I've already hit most of the big ones. What, what is that game? I don't. I don't know what that it's is. It's an alarm clock. It's just an alarm but, clock. But, okay. it, but it's everybody else who's setting their alarm around the same time. Okay. So you all wake up at once. It's like you and ten other people. <laughs> And so you all have to wake up at around the same time, and you can like send like messages to the person. Like if they're not waking up, you can tap their face or their. Oh, their, so you can actually send it to people. Like, wake up and keep hitting them until they get up. That's funny. Um, <laughs> there have been. Days. I haven't downloaded because it, it was free. I never used it. Yeah, I don't wake up Tony it. every morning. Like now. And if you look at your screen when you when they start bugging you, uh, basically what happens is to, in order to wake up, your avatar bounces around the screen, and you have to hit your avatar to wake up, uh, and then it shows all the other people, and you can tap their avatars if they haven't woken up yet. And if they tap, if you don't wake up, like this little splotches appear on your screen, it keeps your avatar from bouncing in as much of a location to make it easier to hit, to help you wake up. So you can like help the other person. And I want to try this. I'm gonna set my alarm for tomorrow now for yeah. noon. <laughs> Sounds fucking stupid. <laughs> it's it's just a, an extra fun bit today. I have it go up at the same time as my as my Sony Dash, so I have to dash back and forth to hit them to help me get up. I hate waking up. I am not a morning person. I have a, I have a morning job. But I am not a morning person. Got to get a liter of coffee? Uh, I have been trying to cut out the caffeine. I don't, I don't like coffee, so I drink pop, but I've been drinking way too much pop. Liter of decaf. So, uh, I hate the, the, case, the taste of coffee. It's terrible. So I, well. I, back to the question. Sorry. 20 minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we talked about like... You know Brian's back when it's all digression. <laughs> That's the type of witty sarcasm I'm talking about. Just so you kind of have inside joke. Um, there's a, they came out with a, the anniversary box set of Monday Night Raw. It's like ninety bucks. It looks pretty badass. I'd watch the hell out of those. Um, if we're sticking to video game related, Kim, I want a two DS. Vita. I don't get a fucking 2DS. Do you see the bottle? I, I, if somebody buys me a Vita, I will make a video of me breaking the fucking thing just to spite this guy. You wouldn't spite me. It's another sale. I don't care if you break it. <laughs> 11 people. Only 10 are still I'll working. break it and then I'll return it because I have great customer service experience. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Came this way. I, 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 I box at Christmas? It's fucking broken. <laughs> it came as powder. Like it was in a blender. Garbage. Give oh, me a fucking DS. <laughs> That blame on the. You. If I, if that I would were, count as two sales. No, this what? is just helping. If I got a DS instead, how is that helping? Well, you? They're not going to trade it for a different. You, you, you don't know how I work, sir. If I were to see, I don't. I work how you are, sir. I don't need a lot of gifts. I tend to buy whatever <laughs> I want anyway. I make enough that I can buy most of the things I want that like, aren't outrageous to ask for. Um, <laughs> Until he gets his date, and he's like, "Fuck!" <laughs> yeah, there's that. No, I'm being pretty good. I'm being pretty good. Um, I'm trying, and I'm trying to save a little, little bit more now. Um, but uh, I'm thinking about getting star- I'm thinking about getting Starbound on Steam. Mr. 98. Oh yeah, just TV. went up. 98. What's that? It like, just like, went up. I know. It's your wall. My that TV. <laughs> the thing is your wall. And you're not found. Yet. I sit too close to it because I want to do 3D, and the 3D is not good. You have to be like six feet to get the 3D. So I'm not mm-hmm. doing my couch back. Which TV do you get? It just sits behind it's the a, couch. It's a uh, Panasonic GT50 16-inch. <laughs> is it plasma? Plasma. It's last year's like. You know what? You, you heard about best plan. Plan. Panasonic. Getting out of, I'm. So, I'm. What so are they gonna do? Panasonic. What the fuck? Are you gonna try and compete in the L L D market? Yeah. yeah, or that too. What are you doing? Yeah. The yeah. one market you completely dominated. They, they, they You're bought, getting out of. They bought all the Pioneer Kuro stuff, 
And then Pinor apparently is making Kuros again yeah, or something like are. that, but they're LCDs instead of plasmas or something. Uh, it's one of my favorite passages. I don't know what Panasonic was thinking uh, of that. Uh, <laughs> Damn it, Panasonic. I and, cried. and they're 480, I cried. They're, they're 24 hertz or they're 24p mode. Still not great. I haven't experienced it yet, sadly. But. <laughs> How's the book, Jason? <laughs> He's reading the book. Resident He's Evil. He's gonna get through five chapters before you guys are done talking about televisions. <laughs> He's got a big TV. Well, okay, you should, you next should, question. You should buy Panasonic TVs because they're going on sale soon because they're gonna discontinue all of them. Yeah, Panasonic. Nick Coots asked, <laughs> "What is your favorite book?" <laughs> Resident Evil. <laughs> I, I don't. Um, me hard. personally, I actually know. Blasius mine is. also asked something similar, so we're just gonna kind of give him one. Favorite book because he really liked our uh, our movie question mm -hmm. from last week. So he wants to know what our favorite book is, and so does this guy. Nick my, my favorite book. It's called Jude J U D E by Kate Morgan Roth. Go read it. It's good. It's great. Hey, it's good, it. Tony. Uh, Auto man. <laughs> my Auto trainer. <laughs> mine is the End of Detroit. Um, it's about a decade old. Um, and it kind of delved into the auto industry when the yeah. the big three, being uh, General Motors, Ford, and Chrysler, uh, pretended that Japan didn't start making cars. And, <laughs> uh, when they were, like, ignoring them because... To when the GT40 came out? The, no, 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 this was later. This okay. was, like, in the 70s and 80s. when Because uh, the Americans had, like, a 95% market share uh, across the globe. And uh, they were just like, <coughs> who's this Toyota? Who's this Honda? And at the time, they could have bought those companies for like a million dollars, which is like nothing to those companies, and just made them non-existent. And uh, they chose to pretend they weren't there and how they started losing market share. It's interesting. It's very like um, subjective or objective. The one where it's one person viewing. Like, like opinionated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that 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 one, where uh, some of it I disagree with. A lot of it's factual, but a lot of it's like, you know, kind of opinionated. So you have to. Some of it kind of pissed me off, but it's a good overall book. Uh, I can't pick just one. I'm gonna pick three. I'm sorry. Uh, my three favorite authors. If you're looking for a laugh, you just totally. What's your one favorite book? I'm gonna give you my three favorite I can't, authors. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Books. I can't. I, well, you've seen my place. I, have, I know. I know. I know. I'm just giving you a yeah. hard time. Go ahead. Um, I have. Five. I have uh, my favorite. If you want comedy, John Hodgman has a series, uh, the areas of my expertise, uh, where he makes up facts. It's hilarious. I, I talk, like that. I he talk, like he that. talks about the hobo wars, uh, and the presidents. Who had, the presidents who had hooks for hands and. The Secrets of the Mob of America, stuff like that. Um, if you're looking for something a little bit more oh, no, standard no, fiction, uh, there's a book called Cut My Hair by Jamie S. Rich. Uh, I bought that book when I was at like, a really dark point in my life, and it kind of helped me get out of it. It's about a... Was emo. I was a little emo back in the day, it's true. Magenta hair. <laughs> I never did any of that stuff. Uh, but that's a lot of the get -ups. Lies, I have a picture. Picturing. Not lies. <laughs> you don't have a picture, because it never happens. He's got a picture. He's got spikes on his wrist. There's a picture of me with spikes on my wrist. <laughs> that did happen. Um, it was a gift from my girlfriend. Shut up. It was punk rock bird. Um, <laughs> there was there's a punk rock <laughs> picture <laughs> where I shaved my head and had a mohawk. That's what I'm yes. talking about. That was, that was the week I quit Target. I was like, fuck Target. I'm not doing this shit. <laughs> it's, it's, I shaved my head. That's what I'm talking about. I'll get a job. I'll look cool. It's yeah. a punk rock bird. Yeah. That's cool. Um, I like that. I'm going to call you punk rock bird. PRB? PR, yeah. PBR. Yeah, punk rock, yeah. Um, so, Cut My Hair, very good book about a guy who kind of was going through a similar thing I was going through, and it kind of helped me through it. Uh, Jamie Rich writes, I don't want to call it emo, because it's not necessarily emo, but he writes about like relationships from more of a guy's point of view, which is kind of nice. Finally, my favorite, it's not really a book, but fuck you, it's like the best story ever, The Sandman by Neil Gaiman. It's awesome. Everybody should read it. It's wonderful. Mark's sister has a tattoo of it. That's all I know about has it. has a whole arm. You yeah. Just... Arm. It's called a sleeve. Yeah. Yeah, it is called a sleeve. Yeah, it is called a sleeve. I, I was gonna use that, but I was like, no, it's whole arm. Apparently, it's just arm. 
Tats are I don't have tats. I, I just don't know what they're called. I don't know what they're called. Tony has a tat. I'm I've silly. Seen it. A silly son of a bitch. <laughs> also, go read City here. of Thieves. City of Thieves is really good. <laughs> I've got that. I'm, it's really good. I, David that's, Dale, right? Yeah. That's, 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 in, that's in my, in my, my, my pile of shit. That's one of my uh, yeah. top five to top three books all time. My buddy's been fucking me to read it. It's really good. I might just go get in my Kindle so I can read it at work. Go for it. Yeah. Highly recommend as well. Um, much like Brian, I can't pick just one book. Um, I've got a couple. Uh, I'll be quick, though. Um, both the Som- Zombie Survival Guide and World War Z by Max Brooks Very are, are phenomenal books. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I've reread both of them at least ten times. Absolutely love those. Um... There's a really interesting book out there, and even if you're not a wrestling fan, I suggest that you read it just to get a weird perspective of how this person is. He's considered one of the most violent wrestlers of all time. Andy Kaufman? No, no, but he's such a <laughs> docile sweetheart. He's got an entire chapter dedicated to talking about Santa, and that's uh, Mick Foley. Um, have a nice day. Mankind, mm-hmm. have a nice day. Great book. Um, the other two... Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Except that was Cactus Jack, but close. Enough. Same dude. Same, guy. Same dude. Different persona. The book actually says mankind. It doesn't say McFoley. Didn't say McFoley <laughs> until his second novel. Anyways, and he is a New York Times bestselling author too. He was on there for five weeks, and then Oprah came out with her book. Dead <laughs> bitch. That's what always happens. Yeah. Yeah. Um, then I'm gonna mention this because I absolutely love it. Uh, is uh, Make Love the Bruce Campbell Way. That is a fun book. <laughs> it is a great book. Yes. If you haven't read it, go out and pick it up. Uh, He's got two. Two it, or three. If Chins Could Kill is, yeah, the, uh, is, the, is the autobiography. Right. If Chins Could Kill. If Chins yes. Could Kill. It's very good. I love Bruce Campbell. I've never funny. read any of his books. Do you know who convinced him to write do those Do you have those books? laying around? I do. I think I'm going to borrow one of those. Do you know who convinced him to write those? Who? John Hodgman. Really? He was his agent, apparently. Okay. I remember hearing him talk about that, yeah. Nice. But yeah, uh, his, if, his if literary Chins Could agent. Kill. And then... Mm-hmm. Uh, it's almost like a mockumentary of Chin, uh, Make Love the Bruce Campbell. Yes. Because it's, it's, he, it's him, yes. but it's not him, kind of. It's it's really interesting. He's, he, yeah, it's kind of like, there's another book, Simon Pegg, uh, which I haven't finished, wrote called uh, Nerd Do Well. Pegg's got a book? Yes. Really? I haven't, I've, it's on my Kindle. I've had a chance. I've, there's so many books I want to read. I just have no time. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, it's but it's written in that same kind of tongue-in-cheek. He talks like, half the book is him yelling at his butler. Mm-hmm. It's hilarious. Really? Yes. Book to stay away from before I give you my, my top one. Mm-hmm. Bram Stoker's Dracula is so fucking hard to read. It's just, have you ever read? No. It, oh. Not, never. No, oh. no, never did. It is so dry mm-hmm. and so dull that I just, I have uh, Mary yeah. Shelley's Frankenstein sitting mm-hmm. right next to it mm-hmm. and don't want to read it because they're from like the same, same time, time period, period and mm-hmm. it just, it scares me well, to want to read it. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein was a, a competition. Was it? Yeah, it was like five of her, her and like five of her friends mm-hmm. wanted to write the scariest book they could think of. Mm. It was just like a book club. Okay. So they wrote it for their group, and it got such high praise that they passed it on and passed it on, and she got published. My number one, um, and it, it has a lot of things that I bring to the show and just like a general outlook on life, is called uh, Tough Shit Oh, yeah. by Kevin Smith. Yes. And uh, oh, no, 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 it's called Tufts Hit. No, it's tough shit. It's tough <laughs> shit. Okay. Is it Pet Mart? Pet Smart? Or I, Pet Smart? No, no, I like, recommend. No, I, I, yeah. I'm just. I is recommend. it Penis Mightier? Any or is pen is yeah. <laughs> Mark <laughs> Jake, the Penis Mightier. Four one hundred. Everyone. Does it work? <laughs> who is a fan of ours and just yeah. what we do here? Our passion for doing a podcast to just go out and, and read a sample of the book. They they have I think like the first chapter up for free that you can read on his blog. It is such a motivational and inspirational book. That is the reason that I initially approached Tony with the idea of doing this is because of that book. Mm-hmm. That's how that's how awesome it was. I learned that today. I didn't know that shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely Good question. Great, Good question. Great fucking read. Oh, that's right. I have the questions. Or is it? Anal bum cover. <laughs> That's an album cover, Mr. Connery. No, it's not. I'll take the Anal rubbish. bum cover. I can read your back. Kicking it back over to talking about some Christmas a little bit. Mm-hmm. I guess this could apply to, to any occasion when you give a gift, but tis the season and whatnot. 
Uh, Metro Android asked, "What's the worst game gift you've ever been given?" <laughs> All right, I gotta go down. I was a kid, and uh, it was like some of my aunts or something gave this to me, and I never had a PS One. I got PS One. It was like NHL like 2001 and like NBA 2001 or something like that. I was like, cool. This was and, last year. And, yeah. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> so I never had a PS One. So first off, it's a system I don't even have. I had a Dreamcast at the time, and I was just like, what am I gonna do with this? And my mother would not let me get rid of those because it was a gift. Really? So I still have them sitting in. Out in the garage, I believe. Are they still sealed? Yeah. <laughs> you should put those up. Probably get 10, 15 bucks for them. <laughs> sealed? Just saying. Just saying. Mr. Craigslist eBay over here? Let's go. What the? Yeah. yeah. There you go. His mom finds out. Get those <laughs> fucking the games fuck? back! Those were a gift, Mark! <laughs> <laughs> Try to return those to the store. Uh, it's been about 15 years. Can I return these? I'm pretty sure I'm still in the return day policy. <laughs> You know what's sad? At my current job, if you argue enough, they would take it. I'm not even kidding. Because they just want to get you out of the store. They don't care that much. Mm -hmm. They just don't want to hear it. Me? Yeah. We've taken returns from three years ago because people bitch enough. There are, there are two that I have. I don't know which one is worse. Uh, first, once I got the Adventures of Bayou Billy. I don't know what the fuck that is. It's an NES game uh, that is best known for not being great. Uh, but it's an NES game, and none of them were, you know, most of them weren't that, you know, they were all kind of competent, but not great. But, uh, one year I got, uh, the original Evil Dead game. What's wrong with that? It's not a very good game. It doesn't matter, it's Evil Dead. I know, but it's not a You're very good game. You leave now. <laughs> what's really sad about that I is still that own that fucking game, I was playing it like a month ago. the PlayStation 1? Yeah. Um, I was playing it like a month ago. What's really sad about that is, my mom got it for me as a gift, it's like, the, like, first time my parents ever bought me a video game. My parents, I shouldn't say my parents, my dad is completely uncaring on the subject, but my mom hates video games because she feels they're too much of a distraction, et cetera, et cetera. It was always a fight anytime I wanted to get a console in the house. I was 21 or 22 when she bought me that game. And she told, she didn't tell me in advance that she was getting, she asked me in advance, she's like, I heard there was, a, there was an Evil Dead game. I'm like, yeah, but I heard it wasn't very good. And she's like, Oh, really? That's too bad. And then I opened it up. <laughs> <laughs> it was the evil like, dead game. I love uh, that game. It's not it's very like, good. It, it, it's, I mean, it's... For it's, the it's time, got Bruce no, Campbell's voice in it. But when you think about it, if we're going to talk about it for a minute, because uh -huh. that seems the way it's going, mm -hmm. it's all it is is a reskinned Resident Evil. Yes. I mean, it's got those tank controls and yeah. everything. It's the same, same difference. Just as bad. I love that game. We should, <laughs> we should live stream that. <laughs> We're playing fucking Evil Dead. <laughs> uh, Look at it, I can't even... Uh, last, oh, I'd say, no, no lie. I played it like a month ago. I couldn't get him to walk in a straight fucking line. No. <laughs> Not possible. Because I can't, I can't do that original Resident Evil control anymore. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, it was so never outdated. good. It was just... Whatever. Tony? I'm having a really hard time with this one. Um, usually... Uh, I don't get very many presents in the video game world, uh, but when I do... He gets ugly sweaters. I, I asked for them specifically by name, and I get what I want. So I don't think I've ever had a bad video game gift. Like, if I ask my parents, like, hey, can I get, uh, you know, the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for Christmas, I opened up the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I didn't get surprised with, like... The Adventures of like, Mario Billy! Yeah. That's that, what you would hear when you turn the game on. It was like the only good thing, the only technical cool thing about the game was like you turn it on and it had a voice. Sorry. I know the coolest present I ever got video game related was my Vita. Uh, I knew I was going to get it anyway, and my parents got it for me for Christmas. That was my Christmas present. Well, it was prepaid. It didn't come out till February. They give you a receipt. You're like, what the fuck is this? That, oh. I, I opened, that's, that's, what I, that's what it was. Well, actually, I knew I didn't even open it. They probably just gave you the money, didn't they? No, no, no. Because oh. we went to the store, and so I made sure I got the one I wanted and everything. And oh. I was there when it was happening. I, I honestly don't think I've ever gotten a bad video game present. I can't think of anything. Unless Kim doesn't give me my 2DS. Then not getting a 2DS will be your bad present. Mm -hmm. so that's all I've asked what for. What are the things you haven't gotten? Have you not that's all, I, that's all I've asked for. I gave up a year of gifts to get a Game Boy. Really? Yeah. 
They held you to it? Oh, yeah. My parents don't fuck around, man. Did you get a Game Boy Color at least? No, no. This was the Game Boy. The oh, original man. Game Boy. Like, mm, there we go. Okay. But I, mean, I got Tetris. It was awesome. I got oh, Game Boy. the original yeah. Game Boy, Tetris, and Mario. Mm-hmm. I didn't see the fucking thing for the first three months because my mom got hooked on Tetris. Ha! <laughs> and then every time I'd get it back, it's because the batteries were dead. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Can you charge this for me? Bring back when it's ready. I mean, I was like, I was like, 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 oh yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. right. (laughs) No, you're right. I I remember that. It was like, it was was the arcade kit. Remember the stupid fucking magnifying screen with the speaker? No, no, Nintendo had one too. I think. Yeah. But But, they they were not there. There were no lithium ion batteries. Hear that, mom? You ruined my childhood by taking my Game Boy. The rechargeable battery. You're responsible for this. Two hours. It was terrible. You had to use alkalines. Yeah. Anywho, I keep forgetting that I have the questions and I'm supposed to. I'm just fucking. Yeah, this up you're in charge. Lysios. Told you, I'm just gonna like keep doing it. Lysios. What do we call him? L dog. L dog. Yeah, that's right. Fuck it. L dog. Asked. Name something you can make better with bacon. Everything. Everything except for milk. Yeah. You know, my mom gave me bacon syrup last Christmas, like flavor syrup. Mm-hmm. I've had I've had two personally bad experiences with bacon infused products. Okay. First one is bacon chocolate. Nope. Okay. I'm not a huge fan and of bacon. First like time. if it was like a strip of bacon coated in chocolate, that's the problem. They're making bacon flavored shit. It's no, not no, 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 no. Hold on. This was like a Hershey bar with bacon bits, and it was like sweet and then like super salty. It just, it didn't, if it was like a maple bacon or something, it'd be, be good with a little bit of that sweet taste, but the one that I had was horrible. The second thing is this abomination to existence known as bacon What the fuck is bacon Bacon and mayonnaise. That sounds gross. What? <laughs> I think it's still in the fridge. I don't want it. I'm it's scared. terrible. It's disgusting. I'm going to see if it's still in there. I'm okay. scared. I, I just be. I need you to shake your hand on that. That's disgusting. I don't like mayo to begin with, but ugh, it just sounds nasty. I like mayo. No. See, I honestly like I like plain oh. bacon. I don't need it mixed with a lot of stuff. Shake it's great. Screw it out. I I do enjoy bacon. I like it wrapped in steaks. Mayonnaise goes bad like every wrapped in um, days, shrimp. Bacon. Have you ever had bacon wrapped shrimp? I don't need seafood. Mm-hmm. Okay, bacon, bacon wrapped shrimp is fucking delicious. Go it like for it. loses it like You're it's weird. not it's not expired. Don't listen to the guy who I'm not pours weird. the milk and then the cereal on top. Oh, of it. oh that weird freak. <laughs> oh. Mayonnaise, the second you break the seal on nice mayonnaise, you got like four days. It's not expired. It just doesn't taste the same. I disagree. Um, I honestly oh. actually did what Tony did with the milk one day. It felt weird. So, <laughs> just like, this is wrong. Just, he just dumps the whole thing out. He throws <laughs> it out and starts <laughs> over. <laughs> Tainted. It doesn't uh, taste there good. Is, there is actually one thing I can tell you. Well, okay. Uh, first of all, the Arby's beef and cheddar with bacon, I did not think was that great. No, because you can't fuck with a beef and cheddar. Yeah. But I went to Lou Malnati's once, and usually I love Lou Malnati's. Don't get bacon on a stuffed pizza because they put it, unless they make it right with the bacon on top, maybe it'll be okay then. But if they, if they cook the pizza with the bacon on the inside, it gets it's just really soggy and nasty. Yeah. And so my bacon's got to be crispy. I don't yeah. like... Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be crispy, but it's got to be chewy. Yeah, it come to Emerson's. My and crispy bacon, bacon better be hard like a cock. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Not fucking pink limpy. <laughs> no, no, yeah. That's what it, it's like the limpy bacon. You want? I, I, I don't yeah. necessarily want it to be crispy, but... No. Not, not like more burnt water. Nah, no, I don't like burnt. Oh, but. so good. I'll make some fucking bacon. Bacon at a bar Speaking is of quite the same. I know, I know we don't really th- you know, mention it, but mm-hmm. Tony does a little web series with Moss called Getting to Know Moss. Mm-hmm. And they just wrapped up, I guess, technically the end of season one, even though you're going to change that. Mm-hmm. Um, so he asked for suggestions yes. on how to improve the yeah. show. Mm-hmm. Number one comment. Bacon. Bacon. Add bacon. <laughs> Add bacon to the show. So we're probably going to so, some bacon. So I'm not lying. Bacon. There will probably be, for, for the first episode of the new season, yeah. there'll be a fucking plate of bacon there. I once got in a lot of trouble for eating bacon. Uh, oh, they were having an event, a family event, um, and my cousin and I snuck out to the buffet that was elsewhere in the establishment, 
and he got platefuls of bacon, like tons of bacon, like an obscene amount of bacon. Is it not your bacon? <laughs> Unnecessary <cake>? amounts of bacon. <laughs> and, and, and they saw us taking it, and they came back, and we got in trouble for taking like obscene, like pounds. It, it was shameful. My, when I go to my parents' house, my mom cooks bacon. She has to cook it before I'm awake. Or she has to hide the fact that she's cooking bacon because I'll eat all the bacon before it makes it to the table. <laughs> He's got a problem. I do. I do enjoy you, bacon. You were one of those people who get the Baconator, aren't you? Uh, they don't have it anymore. Yeah, they do. I think they it's brought a triple it stack of bacon. They just changed the name of it. Oh, no, no. You know, no, I don't because I can't eat that much. I get the, if I get the, <laughs> he just I get, disassembles it, takes if get, the bacon. If I get the Baconator, it's got to be the single. Can I have six Baconators, hold the patties and <laughs> bread? No, and see, I don't. I catch up and onions. I like bacon on, on, its own, on its own, but when it's with something, it's not as not so much. Like I tried the uh, the double croissant sandwich, where it's sausage and bacon. I prefer the regular croissant sandwich. It also it messes with the consistency of it. It doesn't have a good mouth feel. Thank you, Gordon. Has anybody <laughs> had bacon flavored ice cream or bacon no. ice cream, whatever it is? No, it is. Uh, doesn't I'm, even interest I'm me. Doesn't interest I'm me. To no. touch it. There is one cool thing on Think Geek. Um, it's called Tactical Bacon. <laughs> I think I've seen that. It's, got, it's, it's a bacon in a can. Yeah. They made, like, like fucking freeze-dried or whatever mm-hmm. it is. And it's got, like, a 20-year shelf life. Mm-hmm. Tactical Bacon. Fucking hell. They also, um, I, I, I think it's Blue just came out with a bacon-flavored vodka. Hmm. I don't know about that. And then a sriracha, or however you pronounce sriracha? it. Sriracha? Yeah, flavored or sriracha. vodka. Whatever. <laughs> Did you agree about mm-hmm. them? Andrew Dilly! Which part of the plan for my What's up, Andrew? Well, yeah. yeah. He asked, What TV show would you like to see as a video game? Hmm. How do you make High Met Your Mother into a video game? Once Upon a Time. That might be cool. Walking Dead! <laughs> it already is! Too late. Mm. Tony and I were having a, a discussion on last week's show um, because we talked about South Park. Before, no, before it was officially announced, the uh, the Game of Thrones Telltale game. Mm-hmm. Come to find out, it is based on the TV show. Remember, because we were asking about that. Just thought I threw that out there. That's okay. If it was based on the book, half the game would be talking about feasts. <laughs> I mean, none, not, have you guys ever read? I swear to God, like anytime, they, anytime there's, like, there's a meal, to the show. <laughs> woo, he goes on for pages about lampreys and quail's eggs and blah, 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 so, blah, wine. <laughs> you want How I Met Your Mother. No, I take South Park. It's, it's not out yet. It'll there, there never come South out. There, there, there have been, been South Park games. games not like before. 10 years. Well, like pick something that hasn't been. Yeah, I know what I'm thinking. Come on. You know what I'm thinking. Anybody? That's tough. Once upon a time, Archer. Once upon a time, yeah. Archer. Archer. I'll take Archer. Yes. They, they, they did the Harvey Birdman. Archer. Game, which has they a did Harvey was, Birdman, yeah. and that was based on the uh, uh, Ace, Ace Attorney, Attorney style games, games yeah. which was fucking weird. Um, they've done an Aqua Team golf game, which was actually kind of cool, because then it had boss fights <laughs> <laughs> at the at the hole when you were on the green and have a boss fight, and then and then <laughs> you got in the golf cart and you were racing. Um. Oh shit. Now, see, most of the most of the things that I think should be made into games kind of already have. I mean, people keep trying to do Firefly and failing. Um. Did they just launch their MMO like Alpha or Beta or something like they that? They may have. Yeah. I don't. I know that's recent. I don't. The... I want an Arrow video game. There hasn't been a Green Arrow game at all. There hasn't. But I want it based on the continuity of the, the TV, TV show. Because the TV show is utilizing a great cast of villains. Mm-hmm. That's what I want. I've heard good reviews about that show. I haven't actually got to know it. I fucking love that show. Really? Some of the time to, to watch for free 99. The Scientist. Part one of, of part two of the mid-season finale. Spoilers. It's The Flash. Burn Notice might be cool, too. Yeah. I haven't touched my Burn Notice joke, have I? No. Okay. I want to see Michael Weston describing mundane things. Just like, if you're going to invest in a good TV remote, make sure you do your shopping. 
The Logitech Harmony is a pretty good brand, but they're fairly they're fairly well known. For your money, you can't beat you know whatever. Because yeah, yeah. he like, I like it. Yeah, because right? Because he's like, like he's always talking about like when you're placing when you're making yeah, a bomb, yeah, yeah. you got to make sure you do this and this and that and the other thing. I want to be like. When you're shopping for milk, <laughs> make sure to check the expiration date. Reach way back in the cooler. <laughs> Reach way back in the cooler because that's where I'm going to put the freshest ones. Yeah. I like that You'd show. be great at it. I like it. <laughs> we out of questions? This is a bad episode. I have a question yeah. for them. Okay. Is anybody playing Starbound? Are you enjoying it? Is it really just Terraria but with planets? It looks a lot like Terraria. It does. Like a, an obscenely amount of content looks similar. I actually could not tell the difference in one screenshot because it was side by side, mm-hmm. and I actually was wrong. <laughs> I was like, "It's well, game related, Jason. Shut up." So was my book. <laughs> the damn Starbound got a shit ton of money. It did. What the hell? You want, you want to wrap it up? This is about episode 96, part one. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Catch us next week, same time. Hey, hey. Except now you get space. And isn't that always better?